All right, this is Andrew with Chemical Concepts. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick how-to video uh, on our keep nut anchors. Uh, for those that don't know, this is a uh, new anchoring system that we have for stone, uh, natural stone, engineered stone, bunch of different surfaces. Uh, it has a bunch of different applications, uh, including undermount sinks, uh, wall cladding, uh, furniture, uh, various uh, other applications. Um, now, these things work great when using a CNC, uh, but with, I, we have a couple of questions uh, when people want to use these uh, and want to do it manually. Uh, and what we have here is we have a bit that uh, is a 5 8 11 bit, so it'll fit uh, on a uh, pneumatic polisher, which you'll find at any stone shop. Uh, and we've applied a, uh, a stop collar here so that you can get a nice repeatable depth every time. Uh, so since we're in uh, our warehouse here, I'm not in a stone shop, uh, I'm going to be using uh, an, an electric polisher here, which will, which will work just as well. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and give it a try. So the, the first thing you're going to need to know is when using this system, the depth is very important. So we have the stop collar set up uh, at about 5 16 here. So what that is, is that's the, uh, the height of the anchor itself. And then we add just about an extra 16 uh, just to give you a little bit of extra play. Uh, so there's some different versions of it. This is for the two crown version There's some heavier duty anchors. This one's a larger one uh, it, And then uh, there's another one right here So whichever fastener you're doing you're gonna want to just add set this stop collar to be the height of your anchor plus another sixteenth So I've got this a bit that's already set up right on my uh, uh, Polisher right here. So let's just get started Get a little water flow. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start off at a slight angle and then just go straight. Uh, a lot of uh, stone workers want to start rounding out this hole, but uh, this bit right here is very precise. So you really just want to come in straight in once you get this uh, polisher upright. So let's, let's check it out. Then you would typically have an air blower here. You could blow out the hole to get the, the debris out of there. So then the next thing we're going to do, got a little setting tool here. So we're going to put this on there. And then we're going to check the hole. So this is a little no-go gauge. Uh, it says go on this side. It says no-go on the other. So if uh, the no-go side fits in, the hole's a little bit too large. So we're going to check this here. It's a little bit out of round at the top, but that's why you get that extra depth because the whole the bit kind of straightens it out as it goes. So that looks good. So we're going to bang that in there. And then we're going to use this uh, setting tool here to just drive it all the way in. And uh, that's really important. When we do it manually, we add a little bit of extra because the further down you go, the, uh, uh, the, the straighter the hole is. And the important thing is that this anchor, it has to bottom out. So however, whatever depth you drill your hole to, you gotta make sure that you bang it all the way down and that your uh, anchor is fully seated. So that's really all there is to it. Now everything sits flush, so when your installers go uh, into, the, into the job site to install the anchors, uh, these are already in there. You did that in the shop. All they have to do is put in a post, a uh, clip, got a little uh, star washer here just to prevent any loosening from dishwashers or anything like that. And that's all there is to it. So it's going to be real fast for your installers to, to get the rest of the job done. Well, thanks a lot for uh, staying tuned. Uh, if you have any other questions, please call our 1-800 number, 1-800-220-1966. And thanks again, it's Andrew Morris with Chemical Concepts.